Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, welcome to episode number 31 of the Zoom the Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM 2020 and that is right, we are already over 30 episodes on this series we are on season number 3 and this season has been very good to us so far with some minor upsets like the injury that we had last episode but that's on the past so right now we need to focus on the future and we have the Tulia Basque Country right ahead of us so it's going to be the race for today's video it is 6 stages as you can see so most of them are hilly stages as you can see right here on the screen by their profile and then a lot of little climbs and the ups and downs throughout the whole stages really and then a flat time trial where drama that could be a, a good performance there but yeah overall it's just uh, eels after eels so yeah let's see what can drama do here of course is better on eels than mountains but first as we have on the screen we have the points of interest to spend on our contract because we are already on April so we need to spend points of interest and uh, right now of course the Kunic is the best uh, in terms of interest to resign with us but they only give us 100 points per season this time so it's not that much really if, you, if we want to make some changes and then we have other teams AG2R is the team with most interest right now as you can see already with the yellow bar and who knows it could be a good team of course uh, we can be their Roman Barde and try to win something big on their team who knows really that could be a good option of course they have a good team for the mountains not the best though and um, then we have some lower interest teams like Ineos, UAE, EF even Baran McLaren or Cofidis Cofidis it is a newly promoted team to the world tour we don't know if they are going to stay on the world tour or not right now they have the likes of Landa and Bilbao so yeah this is a better team in terms of mountain I believe but yeah guys let me know in the comments which team do you want me to try to go to right now I think I'm going to spend these two points on AG2R really because I mean that's not a great team but we can try to make them a great team by by us being there of course and try to win something with them and uh, therefore I'm going to spend my two points here on this uh, month so next month we have two more points I believe so yeah leave, let me know in the comments what team do you want me to, to try to sign for and so guys of course we just came off a fitness peak so we are not on the best fitness right now and we had an injury as well so as you can see it's not the best fitness for us is expected a minus one resting condition on this first stage and of course a hilly stage and uh, yeah we have Ala Philippe, Evenapo who is injured as well Ben Irmans, Mikkel Honore, James Knox and Chandra Maurice so of course a good team for the mountain right here and yeah let's see what's going to happen and so guys we have a row of being a teammate on this stage and it seems that we have a plus today so uh, perhaps it's going to be a much better day for us than we expected because we have a plus day which is awesome and I'll flip who is the leader with a plus day as well so yeah let's hope that we can be with the best on this stage and just do our objectives for today and so guys here we are on the last 30 kilometers of the stage and so far what happened was the following no breakaway has got into the, the race really there's no chance of creating a breakaway so therefore since we are all together on the KOM sprint I just took a chance and the uh, right for those KOM so I won the first and the second one and on the third one I did second place so yeah I'm the leader of this classification right now and of course I took a chance because why not since we have the opportunity but now I will not take that chance I will just save my energy for these last two kilometers as we are already on the Penultimum one climbing and the pace is a bit high so yeah let's see what can we do and if, if we can be in a good placement at the end of the stage and a big fall in the peloton some big guys have just fallen Fabio Aru, Mark Kirschi and as you can see the peloton is riding hard I'm just following the wheel of a life flip but it seems it's not doing great for uh, Joao Maida really look at this energy just going down by a minute really I, I cannot go at this pace 
but the climb is almost over this one then we have another one so yeah let's see and let's just again since we are here try to score uh, some points because we are here we might as well score a little more points third place for us so one more point and we have one climb left and so here we are on the final climb of the day and uh, once again the peloton don't stop now it seems they stopped a little bit but again Simon Yates or Adam Yates from Michelle and Scott is putting a great rhythm it is Adam Yates and I I'm trying to follow it I'm not going to risk this time following nobody's will because that does just takes my energy out and this, this way I can preserve a little bit more as you can see but it seems some guys are attacking so let's try just to stay here for now so many trees I cannot see anything really and I'm getting blocked by Mark Soler damn it but we are still here and the, 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 the climb is just over but now they are getting away so let's try to cheeky attack on the summit to see if I can reach this group because right now it's just downhill until the finish probably let's take the wheel of a life flip now let me just see, yeah, it's basically downhill to the finish last 5 km that use the energy gel and the other mate is just 9 seconds ahead so we need to be careful for that as well come on come on guys let's use the aerodynamic position as well why not and follow the wheel of Ala Philippe of course because he's the main contender for today and he has a lot of energy so yeah let's just try to follow his wheel as we are entering the last kilometer but I think Adam Yates it's too far ahead already so maybe it's going for the win Adam Yates and we are sprinting already but Adam Yates is the winner of the stage Ala Philippe takes second place and ourselves with a lot of energy still on the eighth place so yeah not a bad result for me but for my team we could do a little bit better because Simon Yates just got away and uh, that cannot happen and so guys in the end we got three guys from the team on the top 10 which is a good thing of course so on the general classification we are now on ninth position and we have the KOM jersey with 12 points so again that's just a plus to us of course very good thing to see and now for stage number two another hilly stage with a second category climb at the end of the stage I might say it is the same one as last stage I don't know but it's very similar it seems so yeah let's go and uh, let's see what is going to happen and so once again we have the role of a teammate and this time we have a minus one day so that's not the best of course but let's do our job and oh my god guys we had just fallen you are made a just crash my god and we are behind right now I couldn't believe what the hell and we just crashed alone I believe and who is behind as well I don't know but yeah, I'm all alone right now it doesn't seem that my teammates will wait for me so I just need to work by myself and let's hope that I can reach the peloton because I don't want to get behind and so it seems that it is Carapaz and Kruzvik that are behind so I'm just going on his wheel and see if they can reach the peloton and so guys here we are last 15 kilometers of the stage I don't have the best energy as you can see right here but we have a second category climb and yeah after, uh, after that crash that we had I didn't have much energy to do the work in front of the peloton so I didn't did of course and I just stay here with the peloton but as you can see the pace is high I don't have the much energy so I'm going to fight for this KOM sprint because I lost my jersey already I... I lost to Errada because on the breakaway they got all the points and I didn't got points so yeah let's see if I can do this although as you can see Fabio Aru with a great pace really it's becoming very very hard to do this they are attacking and Dylan Toons is getting away damn it and I'm getting out of energy really we are almost on the last kilometer but so are these guys here come on John please stay here but it's looking very very difficult damn it I cannot believe it I I'm so close my god and it's it's done I cannot do nothing really I'm getting out of energy and getting behind so no points for me on this KOM sprint which is a shame and a lot flip is attacking right now which is a good thing but I'm getting behind and I really thought that I could manage this but it seems that I can't 
So that's it for us. And so guys, I like Flip is the winner of this stage. Thankfully for our team, we got a winner. But uh, João Mendes just on the 42nd position, almost a minute down uh, a life flip. So yeah, the, the chance for the GC are starting to look uh, a bit bad for us now on the 25th position. One minute down, one minute 40. So I guess uh, our best chance it is to fight for jerseys once again. At least this KOM jersey because we are just uh, 4 points away from Jesus Errada. So of course I will try to to go into the breakaway to try to get that jersey at least that because on the general classification I don't think we can do it and so now for stage number three this stage doesn't look that demanding in terms of hills but of course it's classified as a hilly stage and we have a second category climb right in the middle of the stage and right to, towards the end it seems the finish is uphill so yeah let's see what's gonna happen if I can go into the breakaway or not Let's go. And so guys, of course we are a teammate for Alain Philippe once again, so we need to do the work for 25 kilometers in front, but let's try to go into the front of the peloton and try to attack because I want to get in the breakaway, see if I can get the points for the KOM jersey, that's my objective for today. So yeah, let's go. And so guys, here we are for the first KOM sprint, we are 25 kilometers away from the summit, and we are in the breakaway right now with Jesus Errado, of course, he is the main man for the classification. And uh, yeah, let's see when they are going to attack to me to follow their will. Because yeah, that's my goal here. I'm better than them, but I'm not on the best fitness. And I just wasted a bit of time. Let's see if I can catch them. Come on, Joao Maida is not getting there. Come on, but of course, I'm not going to do it. Just a, my god, a third place. So it means... Errada just scored more points than us and we are still in second place now six points behind and so guys here we are now for the second KOM sprint and Jesus Errada is already behind because he just lost the energy and I'm just with Rudy Molar right now and Rudy Molar as well is out of energy so let's just put a pace ourselves and go like this because we have the advantage right now so let's just go maybe a little attack to see if I can can't get rid of Rudy Molar, so let's go now. We have the advantage and we are going to score the maximum points here. And so of course we are going to gain points to get uh, more close to Jesus Errado, which is awesome. So yeah, let's go continue like this now with a good rhythm and see if I can get into the next KOM uh, sprint. And so guys, after that second uh, intermediate sprint for the KOM points, um, the guys in the break we just got out of energy including myself so we just got the the peloton just cut us and uh, we couldn't fight for the second uh, category climb but i managed to stay in the peloton which is good of course now we i'm with the peloton and i'm trying to just hold my energy until the final moment see if i can stay here for at least i don't know to make something good out of this stage maybe try to to get a good placement in the final i don't know but yeah, so far we are looking uh, okay in terms of energy and let's see if I can hang on with the best here. And so guys, last 15 km of the stage, I met the wheel of a life flip. I don't know if this is the best strategy or not, but I'm just trying uh, myself out. Let's just go at his wheel and see if we can hang on and perhaps do a good result. And so it seems that following his wheel is is looking a bit difficult I'm losing a lot of energy just to try to follow him but uh, let's see if I can hang on here or not Ala Philippe is making me suffer a lot really but uh, I'm holding myself right now so come on come on John we are on the last 10 km now an attack by Mark Hirschi and Quinn Simmons Ala Philippe will we react or not come on but it seems the attack doesn't go anywhere now more attacks up front as we are on the last 5 km and Alaphilippe is behind right now. I trying to follow his wheel once again and I have a bit of energy left so maybe I will fight at the end of the stage who knows but there are some guys in front and they are getting away so let's see what's going to happen. Because we are already inside the 25 km mark in the front but they are all caught thankfully but more attacks now Quintana is attacking. 
Lopez is responding, Ala Philippe, come on, do something. And we are not doing anything as we are entering the last kilometer. Let's try to sprint it. We are in the middle of everyone else, which is not good. And Quintana just won the stage alone. And we just finished with a bunch. So, yeah, in the end, not the best result. Maybe we could go with Quintana. I don't know, but yeah, it's not that bad because we finished with the best. And uh, we see that we can fight with them. And so now we are on the 25th position with 1 minute 14 seconds down still from Alaphilippe. And on the mountains we are just 4 points behind Jesus Errada. So yeah, next stage is a time trial. So let's see the results for that. And so guys, in the end, Tom Dumoulin is the winner of this stage. And João Almeida with an amazing 6th position on this time trial so yeah we had a plus 3 day on this stage and of course it paid off although i believe we can do a little bit better if i manage um, better the energy because since it was a plus 3 day i guess i could go a little bit harder on the the energy but that is okay a sixth place is amazing but of course evanapov and Alaphilippe philip that were some of the favorites did not do well as you can see right here very bad performance by them and of course we lose the general classification Ala Flip now on 8th position and Joel Maida just climbed 3 spots or 4 spots from 25th position to the 21st but still 1 minute down so let's hope that that minute give us space to attack to go for the KOM jersey and so now stage number 5 as you can see another hilly stage 3 second category climb so we have a lot of points in this stage so yeah let's try to go into the breakaway and let's hope that we can stay in the breakaway and fight for these points and so of course you all know we are a teammate but let's try to go to the breakaway we have a plus today which is good so yeah let's hope that we can stay in the breakaway and fight for the KOM points alongside Jesus Errada and so guys here we are on the first climb we managed to stay in the breakaway apart from the initial guys that just got out of energy so i'm here with another five guys we have one minute of adventure from the peloton i'm one of the best here maybe with a plus today so yeah let's hope that we can score the maximum points and so i'm trying a early attack see if i can do some damage on these guys i know that nicholas egg has the energy but the others not so much so yeah Let's just try to break this uh, apart and Niklas Egg now is counter attacking, damn it. Maybe I shouldn't did, maybe I shouldn't do this but yeah let's just stay here because I, again I, I think I'm better than Niklas Egg and he's out of energy so let's just put this rhythm and see if I can score the maximum points. Yeah he's getting out of energy so come on Joel. Last kilometer now and I think we can do this easily because Nicolas Egg is out of energy so let's go João Almeida maximum points on this climb which is awesome let's hope that my main contenders don't score points in this summit and we can go into the lead of this jersey and so guys no more breakaway the the peloton had just caught me and Nicolas Egg so yeah I'm with energy to fight for the next KOM sprint and uh, yeah I didn't push myself on the breakaway because I know that I was being caught so yeah we have the energy let's stay right here and try to fight for the next summit and uh, yep yeah, let's see if we can do it as we are 5 kilometers away let's hope that we can do it and so we have some attacks the guy from ag 2 is attacking but I just respond to that let's now put a place myself but they are attacking once again I just counter attack see if I can do it and it seems that I will let's go maximum points once again so we increase our lead which is amazing 28 points now against the 20 of Errada and 15 of Alexis Bueller moves and so here we are approaching the final climb of the day and I'm getting a little bit behind one kilometer now let's see if I can put an attack and I'll just a pace because it seems that nobody will respond to my attack and once again maximum points for us let's just take sure of that and let's go another six points for us i believe or i don't know how many but i know that we have 34 now a big lead from the 20 of jesus errada so yeah let's go 
and so Primus Hoglich is attacking on the descent as we can see right here and I'm just following the wheel of Ala Philippe but I'm losing a bit of energy so yeah that's not what I want really I just want to regain energy on this descent because then it is uphill until the finish line yeah I don't know how is this going to be let's just stay in the peloton and come on João but I'm getting right behind what is this come on João please stay here and so everyone is together for the last 3 kilometers of the stage I don't have the best energy as we can see but I will try to do something I don't know what but let's see if that is possible or not last kilometer now and maybe let's start the sprint let's see Joao made it with a sprint but of course I'm not the best and oh my god the finish line is already here I didn't see that oh my god and Shackman is the winner and I flip second place but I didn't notice the finish line was so close if I knew I would attack much sooner but yeah that is okay a ninth place that is awesome for us really and we got the most uh, points of the KOM jersey which is again awesome because now we have that jersey but yeah damn it that could be a good option for the stage in the end but that is okay and so guys with that result we are now on the 20th position 1 minute 13 seconds down Tom Dumoulin and of course we are the leaders of the best climber classification with 34 points and Jesus Erras is the second place with 20 points so yeah we have a lot of advantage and for the last uh, stage and so now stage number 6 the last stage of this is to the Basque country and uh, as you can see we have a lot of intermediate sprints for the KOM jersey and uh, I just counted and in total we have here 38 points available so of course we need to go to the breakaway at least for the first KOM points to see if I can grab enough points so that I can relax for the final bit of the stage and so guys here we are already on the last kilometer of this first KOM sprint I'm just putting a pace it seems that no one is attacking so that's good for me although Bokamolem is attacking but he stopped thankfully and the yeah, maximum points here 3 points which means now we increase our lead and uh, in this group of 10 men let's see I believe it is Bokamolem our biggest opponent right here Bokamolem on the 4th position with 10 points and like I said there are 21 points available for this stage so yeah, I just want to collect a bit of points right in the beginning so that then I can take a rest because I believe I can get this jersey. And so here we are for the next climb, we are on the last kilometer, I'm just attacking to make sure that I get the maximum points. Champonce is on my wheel but I will get the maximum point once again, so more 3 points. Which means now we have 40 points and Jesus Errada with 20 points the second place. And the Bolema who is in a breakaway with 12 points now on the 4th position and I don't think he can reach me. Let me just take some quick mats and see if he can reach the lead or not. And so guys already on the 3rd uh, um, intermediate sprint for the KOM points and I just made the, the calculation the, the mats and I don't think anyone can reach my lead so I think this jersey is ours so let's just take this uh, intermediate sprint right here and see if then we can take a rest and go to the peloton to fight for the final bit of the stage and yep uh, very easily we scored the maximum points no 43 points i don't believe that anybody else can reach this target because they are just uh, i believe 15 or 12 points available right now so yeah it means that we have the jersey which is another jersey to us and so guys here we are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage just 35 guys here on the peloton João Maida and Ala Flip with not the best energy right now and uh, I'm just taking a little bit more damage on the, the climbs like I'm losing a lot of energy very rapidly but yeah we are into the last climb of the day as you can see a lot of black zones so it's going to be the percentage very high of inclination and yeah I'm not going for the win, I know that, but let's try to make a good result here. And so here we are on the last 5 km of the stage, already attacks, but these guys are out of energy, so yeah, I don't know what to do, I'm just here in front of the peloton, but now one of the Yate brothers has just gone away, let's try to follow him, and uh, maybe let's use the energy gel, I don't know. 
yeah let's use it already maybe since uh, I'm a bit of struggling to keep here but yeah come on John this is looking good right now uh, we are here with Chicone, Nibali, Yates, Bookman, uh, Lopez and uh, Nibali is getting away with Chenzo Nibali is getting away as we are entering the last 3 kilometers of the stage I'm getting out of energy as we can see but uh, I'm just going to stay here really but oh my god my energy is too low right now I'm not going to be able to just continue like this I believe you still have two and a half kilometers my god and I'm out of energy already as you can see this is not good at all really come on damn it I need now to focus on to not to lose too many time and in the front let's see Pogacar or Nibali who is going to be the winner of the stage and I really don't know but it is Pogacar the winner of this stage and ourselves right now on the last kilometer let's see what position do we are going to end up and it seems that is on a 14 position so it's a good result nonetheless we try it and uh, in the end it's a good result I believe we are going to climb up a few spots on the general classification and we got the KOM jersey so overall a good result for us and so Vicente Nibali is the winner of the general classification after this performance on this stage it gives him the advantage to win this in Tulia Basque country the general classification as you can see ahead of Tom Dumoulin and Simon Yates and Julian Alaphilippe on the 5th position not bad at all and we got the best climber classification once again so another jersey for us 43 points which is a good, uh, a good result so yeah another jersey for our collection in the points Alaphilippe is the winner with 82 points ahead of the 66 of Shackman and John Maida just entering the top 10 of this classification as well so yeah it just shows the performance of John Maida in the in the overall of this race really and on the younger white classification we did third so yeah just behind Pogacar and Bernal the, the, this result just showed that I'm the best of the weakers if I could say like that because Pogacar and Bernal are on another level and João Maida is the best of the other ones so yeah I'm happy with that but of course I want more and so guys after this stage we finish on the 14th position of the overall classification 2 minutes 30 seconds down from Nibali so yeah a top 15 and a jersey who else could we ask for like of course we could ask for a better position on the overall classification but still I'm very happy with the result and so guys after this race this is it for this episode I hope you like don't forget to tell me what team to, do you want me to sign with if you want me to continue with quickstep or try to look another team to be a, a leader and uh, just be a super leader with nobody else just uh, in my in my way really and they just got the whole team supporting me like a ag2r maybe who knows but yeah let me know in the comments who you want me to sign for this is it for now stay safe see you in the next episode bye bye